Hey everyone, this is Matt at Renaissance. We're down here at the showroom and just thought I would show you the uh, progress we've made since we've started. The um, We've gotten quite a bit of stuff in here and we are open and so come on down and see us. This is our Iron Man sink and we've got a whole collection of Iron Man that we're going to be working on. We've got a mantle that we're making uh, that looks like it's made out of steel I-beams, just like the sink. It's going to have nuts and bolts in it. It's going to look really cool. This is a window surround that I've worked on that we're going to take and <clears throat> probably do a aspen white with a glazed finish on it. This is our mantle. Got a few decorations. We're trying to every day look more and more like a home design center. This is our window box, again, which is a takeoff on our window surround. This slides into your, into your window opening and attaches through the inside portion to the window frame through here. And then we can put a shutter in it. We can put lights in it, uh, glass doors on it. There's going to be drawers going below this one. We're going to hang it up on the wall. So it looks like it's <clears throat> attached to a window. And this is our, our window surrounds. This is a hand-worn antique type look on these two. Beadboard in between. And I'm making a mirror surround to go in this space right here. That's going to be, we'll have a similar finish to it. This is a plant on. And they used to do this in the old days, I guess. Sort of in the 1800s. And they would use a lot of plantons. Fluting like this would take too long to do because it was all by hand. Ours is all by hand, but... We use routers and router bits, makes it a little bit easier. And then we've got the baseboard. That's the panel. And then the baseboard. Multi layer, there's three pieces to the cap, the fluted baseboard and the bottom piece. <clears throat> and then we have this casing here that has a Polynesian look to it. <clears throat> I went to Hawaii and I was inspired by the Hawaiian architecture over there. So this is something that I came up with um, after I came back. This uh, door casing is a little over eight foot tall with the header and everything. And it has a uh, aspen white finish on it with Van Dyke brown glaze. That's what it looks like. And this is our clover leaf <clears throat> design. And all these window surrounds that you've seen so far are all prefabricated, all prefinished, ready to install. We didn't do any finishing on the job, and that's one thing that we specialize in. And we have the option of putting shutters in like this window surround right here. We could put shutters in it, paint them dark blue to match the window surround, or they could be painted or stained in the bronze, or they could be not, not stained in bronze, but painted in bronze to match the trim, or they could be stained uh, in dark as a wood color. So there's a lot of options. This is our window seat. This is our red and white crackle. <clears throat> window seat and window surround 
give you a close up here of the crackle finish on it. And it's sort of sporadic. You know, it can go fine to big. Depending on how how hot the weather is, or you can make it look like that. And in this case I made this look like it is. That's what it looks like up close. This has a uh, almost like an oriental feel to it in a way. Um, the federal period uh, somewhat resembled a little bit of oriental architecture to me anyways. This is our red, this is our, this is sort of a simple, I would say, mm. craftsman style type window surround, something you'd see on a farm somewhere. Uh, this is barred red with a hand worn look. And then I have this, I have this sample countertop, it's in bronze. And this is an edge I came up with. It's like a, jagged edge it's really cool this this is a very popular countertop with a lot of our clients they love it <clears throat> then this is our fun <clears throat> casing this could be used in a kid's room or in a doctor's office that's a pediatrician you know or a playroom or daycare center that's why you know we're just not about traditional we're not about the norm at renaissance we're about uh, making something that is not only appealing but is different than what everybody does. We're not in the cookie cutter business. That's what the competition does. We are the option to that. We offer custom design. We can help you design your home. Uh, if you're doing a remodel, we can help you with that. I myself was an architect and a builder in San Diego for many years. Came to Utah and just started designing moldings. And this is what I've come up with. And we can custom design you anything and we pretty much can make anything out of wood. So, and the metal gives us an advantage because you're not gonna find people doing luminor. Uh, it's just not a simple process. It's not a paint and not just anybody can do it. You have to be certified to do it, um, which I am and we can use it in any application as long as we make the or do the project we can spray the luminol on it um, this is a sort of cape cod look uh, blue with black glaze and it's a neat look i like this a lot and we're going to be building an island that we're going to be bringing in here which i'll show you the progress of next week and it's going to be blue with the black glaze, walnut countertop. It'll look like a piece of furniture. It'll have a very European feel to it. Last but not least, we have the Iron Buffalo kitchen display. I'm working on the door and drawer fronts right now, so we can get these in this week. And it'll be completed, but you can see the hand plain finish. The little edged out areas this is all done by hand with a sander and it takes hours and hours and hours but it looks like an old rough cut piece of wood and that's the purpose of this this is my iron buffalo collection which we're calling the cowboy um, and it's just got a real neat look to it it's a lot of fun and we're about that here too is Let's have fun doing a project for you and let's make it something exciting, not just going down to the big box store and, you know, just getting a bunch of cabinets and slamming them in. Let's create something that uh, people are going to talk about and they'll want to come see what you have because you're not going to find this out there anywhere. I can guarantee you that you can go online and look all you want, but you're not going to find a countertop that's sprayed in iron with an acid treatment on it. You're not going to find it. So give us a call and uh, we'll be glad to uh, see what we can do for you. You can get a hold of us at 435-467-8988. And I'm Matt at Renaissance. 
and I'd be happy to talk to you. And here's another thing you're not going to find. This is a farmhouse sink with sprayed with iron with the rust acid treatment. And we can coat this to where uh, when we have the, the coating, the coating we spread on this, it's an architectural coating and it's a patina sealer. And this rust will never change color. It will always look this way. So we're creating artwork. Uh, how would you like to have a piece of art in your home? So leather backsplash that I did that I put black glaze on it to highlight it a little bit, tone it down. And then, uh, so <clears throat> here's our copper shutter. It's a shutter we made that is sprayed with copper. And we acid treated it a little with the green patina. The shutters actually work. They actually open. And this is a this is a novelty item for a lot of people. It's expensive, um, but we're into the unique. So, if you want a copper copper shutter in a room, we can do it. And this is our like a little takeoff on a Tuscan or Mediterranean look with a solid wood door. Little simple corbels below. This is our iron buffalo look here with a thicker sill with corbels below. This is what the cowboy, this is a takeoff um, that we did for the cowboy look. And this isn't distressed, the cowboy is distressed. But this has the hand plane look on it and what I'm going to do for this display here is I'm going to make a, a door for it and I'm going to put the rivets on it and, and uh, spray some of it in iron and it should look pretty cool. This is a copper sink for a vanity that we're building. It's a molded in sink with acid treated copper and the finish on it. And then this is just a hand planed with a little distressed shutter but what we're featuring here are the slats. They're more of a European slat. They're about two, two and a half inches wide. And they're all hand plane too. You can see the rod is square, not rounded. And so it has more of a rustic feel to it. So <clears throat> give us a challenge, folks. We need a challenge. This uh, doing the same old thing over and over gets boring. And that's why we've done Renaissance. Uh, nothing better than to go into everybody's home and everybody have something different than to go into a subdivision and see the same thing over and over and over again. So at Renaissance, we're about setting everyone apart. And uh, we're not looking to compete with the competition. We're here to blow the competition away. So again, give us a call, 435-467-8988. And we'll be glad to hook you up with whatever we can do for you. And... Uh, and that's all. This is Matter Renaissance. And everyone have a have a wonderful day.